Hello everyone and welcome to Kanyiri Vlogs. Today's video, we will be learning how you can use your unripened green tomatoes to make delicious chutney to spread over your cheese or on your toast. As the days are getting shorter at the end of summer and the tomato season winds down, our tomato plants are still loaded with unripe tomatoes and getting them to ripen at home can be difficult. So how can we preserve all these tomatoes and get to enjoy them? So I'm just getting my tomatoes ready for cooking today. We are going to be making green tomato chutney. Yes. As for the ripened tomatoes, we all have a lot of ideas what we can do with them. So for now, let's talk chutneys. So what is chutney? Chutney can be made with all red or all green tomatoes. The ingredients are variable. So long as you include the malt or cider vinegar or even white vinegar and some sugar, you are well on the way to making your chutney. In fact, in the medieval times, women would make chutney from any type of food for preservation purposes. The ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make my green tomato chutney are onions, green tomatoes, vinegar, brown sugar, jaggery, mixed spice, garlic, you can use garlic powder and uh, you can use ginger powder, sultanas and green apples. As I have said, the ingredients are variable. You may choose to just use brown sugar and not add jaggery. Or you could just use jaggery without sugar because jaggery is just another type of sugar which is unrefined. So I start off by chopping my green apples. I will not be peeling them off, just remove the core and chop them into small dices. Next, I will start uh, chopping my tomatoes. As you can see, I have a lot of tomatoes to chop, so I will, tr so I will be doing this as fast as I can. So I'm almost there. Now with the tomatoes done, I start getting the, to the onions ready. And uh, I start by peeling off the onions so I can uh, chop them up as well. So similar to the apples and the tomatoes, I'm going to be dicing this as well into small, small pieces.
So now onions done. We are ready to put everything in the pot. So make sure you use a heavy bottomed pot so it doesn't uh, stick at the bottom when you're cooking. I've added in my green tomatoes, my onions, and now just adding my green apples. Give it a good mix. Next, I'm gonna add my sultanas. You could use raisins as well if you have raisins and you, if you don't like sultanas. I'm gonna be adding my glass of, of vinegar. I'm, I'm gonna be adding two glasses. That's one liter. One liter of apple cider vinegar. But as I said, you could use any vinegar. It could be white vinegar, malt vinegar, or uh, just apple cider vinegar. So that's done. I'm gonna put everything on the stove. So just to show you the level of the vinegar, that's how it is. Next, I'm going to be adding the garlic powder. So I'm putting in two tablespoons of the garlic powder. I'll also be adding the ground ginger powder. I'll put in two and a half tablespoons. Also going in is the mixed spice. You could just use any kind of spice that you have in your house. You can use cinnamon, you can use clove, just any kind of spice that you prefer. Now, once again, give it a good mix. And just turn the heat to medium high and let it come to boil. Once the vinegar is uh, boiling, you can just turn down the heat. And at this point is when I'm going to add my sugar and my jaggery. So first I'm going in with the jaggery powder. Next, I'm gonna be using my soft brown sugar. You could use white as well if you don't have the brown one, but if you want a nice dark brown color, I suggest you use the dark brown sugar. So give it a good mix. And now turn the heat down and let it simmer. I'll be leaving it to simmer for around uh, three hours. You can leave it for longer or shorter. Just make sure you don't burn it. So to check whether if it's ready, I'm just passing my 
wooden spoon across the surface bottom surface of the pot and if you see it's making a clear pathway across it that means it's ready if you can see the bottom of the pot that means the chutney is ready next to me you can see hot water boiling that is uh, my jars sterilizing so in order to in order not to contaminate your your chutneys you have to sterilize the glasses so as you can see I have been boiling my glasses for about half an hour and uh, be careful because the water is very hot so try and uh, take them out with some tongs or something that will not burn your fingers you sterilize the lids as well next I'm just gonna be filling my jars with the chutney so as you can see it's still smoking hot the chutney is still smoking hot and that is how you should do it when it's still hot that's when you pack it into jars You can either pack it when it's still very hot or if you like you can pack it when it's very very cold but don't pack it when it's in between when it's warm because of uh, it can create condensation inside the jar and uh, that is when you get contamination after a while it starts to get some molds inside So I prefer packing my chutney while it's still hot so when I just put the lid on and cover it then I'm gonna put my jar in an upside down position and this will help with the lid locking itself tight so it can stay tight for a long period of time So as you can see, I'm filling in now my second jar. I think the chutney is quite a lot, but um, I'm hoping that my jars will be enough. Chutney is best and well matured after it has been left for a month or even more. It just depends with how long you want it to mature for but for me I prefer to leave it for a month and I will start digging in into the first jar then by the time it's maybe December I might be on my second jar and uh, that means the second jar will be more flavorful than the first jar So we have just finished filling in the second jar on to the third now final results three jars done so that is what we have made today from our green and ripened tomatoes we have made this delicious chutney I took out one spoon to taste with my cheese and my crackers and it was so so yummy so thank you so much guys for tuning in and uh, see you next time